Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris from Production Crate. This is gonna be a short video showing you how to take a basic lightsaber look and transform it into a damaged Kylo Ren style lightsaber. Hey, what's up? It's Adrian from Production Crate. Like he said, this tutorial is a sequel to the one that we uploaded earlier showing you how to make a basic lightsaber. So make sure you watch that one first so you can see how we got to this point. Now, if you want more of a Kylo Ren looking messed up saber, you need a few more effects. Get rid of that glow for now Oh, but I just worked so hard on it. Nope, too bad. <laughs> Get rid of it and apply a shift channels and tell it to take the alpha from the luminance. That subtle dark outline might mess us up, so let's just tint it white. Add a rough in edges and just put in values that are appropriate for your shot. They're going to be different depending on how close your camera is to your saber. Use a wiggle expression on the evolution to make it move around really, really fast. Zoom. Next, apply a radio blur effect and change the type to zoom. <laughs> Alt click the stopwatch to add an expression and use the pick whip to select your element group null and at the end of the expression it creates add period to comp with a capital C open parentheses open brackets zero comma zero comma zero and brackets and parentheses uh, semicolon is that what that's called yep all right, so this just converts the 3D value into a 2D value, so the 2D effect radio blur, or any 2D effect really, can use it. Add a wiggle expression to the amount. Again, just pick values that are appropriate. So now we have a messed up saber blade, but the tip is blurrier than the base, and the end of it kind of looks like a flame. You could also add some advanced lightning to a 3D layer, and then parent that to your null as well to get some 3D lightning attached to this blade. We accented this with some embers from Footage Crate. If you also want more of a constant stream of particles emitting from the saber the entire time, you could create a spotlight. Make sure to turn off auto orient and shift parent that to your element group null. You can then use that light as a light emitter for particular and add as many embers as you want. No, that's too many. How about, how about now? Good. Oh, that's good. That looks good. Now we need to reapply Crate's Radiant Glow. We'll use the natural setting and we'll tint it red. Since this lightsaber is all messed up, we might want to add a wiggle expression to the intensity to make it flash a little bit more. We can't really give you numbers to copy here since it's really going to depend a lot on what your shot looks like, but feel free to experiment. We certainly do. Like we said before, make sure to check out our other lightsaber tutorial. That one is a jam packed. Jam packed. With everything you need to know to how to make for how to make a basic lightsaber effect. Make sure you also check out our lightsaber damage tutorial to see how to make lightsaber slashes, as well as our backlog of Star Wars and space themed tutorials, because <laughs> we got a lot of them. You know how I like my PB and J's? No, no. How, how do you like them? Jam packed. Jam packed. <laughs> Actually, I don't. I don't like it when there's too much jam. Even amounts. Even That's amounts. True. Even amounts. <laughs> All right, now <laughs> that was the last thing you guys needed to know. Later, creator. <laughs>